Okay, guys, so, um, this is, um, another science thing, and again, I'm using this condenser mic, uh, thing that I built, and I probably will make a video on this soon. Well, in fact, you may have already seen the video I made, uploaded before this one. Um, but, um, right here, they made a circuit from flowing atoms, um, which is really cool. And so, um, they took, um, 100,000 sodium atoms, which sounds like a lot, but <laughs> not really. There's plenty more on the head of a pin. And so, um, they uh, chilled them to become a Bose-Einstein condensate, which, if you don't know what that was, essentially when you chill something so cold where instead of the atoms being dots, they start to turn into waves almost. And a Bose-Einstein condensate is essentially when all those waves are sort of touching each other, I guess. And, um, the waves can't distinguish between themselves and other waves, so they behave as one. And they gain zero, and they get a property of having zero viscosity, sort of like a superconductor with zero resistance, although this is a liquid with zero viscosity, so it can actually flow up and down the size of a cup. It's really cool, like liquid helium, uh, can exhibit this, and so can a bunch of other things. But, um... So now we have this uh, blob of uh, 1,000 sodium atoms chilled so that they become uh, one sort of thing. And they use lasers to trap this blob so that it doesn't just go sort of go floating around in space. And then they shape it into a torus, a ring, like a toroid. And then some uh, extra lasers give it enough energy to start rotating. So now they have a current of atoms, essentially. So instead of having electrons, like free electrons, flow through metal, they're having atoms flow through space. And since the Bose-Einstein condensate it has no viscosity, it's extremely sensitive. And it flows for almost 40 seconds, which is a very long time in particle physics. Like some of the elements on the periodic table, especially the higher number you get, have probably only existed for a couple of milliseconds at most. So 40 seconds is quite a bit. And so, um, then they also, right here, you can see this is a complete current where the atoms are flowing, and this is where they actually sort of restrict the flow with one laser. And the, they sort of said they're sort of jumping over that, um, junction, like not stopping them entirely. And so this, they're saying that this could lead to sensitive gyroscopes because this has zero viscosity. It's extremely sensitive, and they could pick up on that and have extremely sensitive gyroscopes that they could use for, I don't know, earthquake testing or... Um, something along the lines of that, but, um, I just thought that was really cool and really amazing, um, so, yeah, and, um, so, wow, um, you know, I'm floored at the ability, so, I wonder when this will actually end up being, uh, a viable technology, <laughs> you know, um, so, yeah, bye.